But we do have Lucas Jewell outside the courthouse. He had to come out of the courthouse to do this. Adam Kokesh is uh, manager of their media operation and involved in production, the number one eyewitness to what happened. Literally, literally, we aired this interview that was taped right before showtime. Some some nights, InfoWars Nightly News is live. Some nights it's taped right before. We did the interview, got it edited, you know, into the main news show that had already been taped, streamed it out to everybody on PrisonPlanet.tv. While it was streaming, he was being raided. And so it's the last interview. It's up on Infowars.com. It's up on DrudgeReport.com. We thankful to Drudge for carrying real media on this with uh, the photos that Lucas and his associates at Adam versus the Man.com took. And and so to tell you what really happened, this is unprecedented. Multiple armored vehicles. I reported like a hundred feds and locals. Uh, two helicopters shutting down the neighborhood. Any excuse to bring in micro martial law, just like Boston, which you now saw nationwide exercise on July 4th. Helicopter flyovers, uh, flyovers, you name it. This is amazing. And regardless of what you think of Adam Kokesh on some of his political views or ideas, he had courage like Rosa Parks. And I admire courage. Okay? I think Adam's cocky. I, and he's a combat veteran of Fallujah. You know, I think, you know, that a lot of things, but it doesn't matter. I think sometimes he talks down to me. It doesn't matter, folks. He's got guts and guts is enough. And that, that thing has been thrown out by the Supreme Court four and a half years ago, D.C. versus Heller. It's unconstitutional. And if a citizen can't load a shotgun in the middle of D.C., it's such a joke. Now, would they send for a regular criminal? Helicopters and armored vehicles and, and 100 armed stormtroopers? No. It's the act of defiance of a citizen doing what he did, like Rosa Parks sitting at the front of the bus. You have got to admire it. Does it mean I agree with all of his ideas? No. But that's done now, folks. You've got to stand with Adam. You've got to stand with people that have this type of courage. Does it mean that I would have done this? Probably not. I picked my battles, but he picked his. He knew what was going to happen to him to make a big issue out of this, that this is an overthrown law, but those criminals are saying he doesn't have a right to protect himself, but the criminals in government are armed to the teeth. Lucas Jewell outside the federal courthouse, uh, break down exactly what happened. You were there. Talk about what happened. You've got the floor. Thank you for joining us. Yes, Alex, can you hear me? Yes, sir. And again, for those that don't know, the right. article's on the site. He went and, and, and loaded a shotgun, his one-man armed march, open carry. It's legal in Virginia, but not in the district of occupied criminals. Go ahead, sir. Uh, yes, Alex, I was actually present during the raid. My room is uh, right by the front door. Um, heard some loud bangs on the door, and I grabbed my girlfriend and uh, started to run to the back door because... Anyone banging like that on the door can't be friendly. Uh, so went to the back door, and by then we had uh, SWAT team members decked out in full armor, battle helmets, everything uh, surrounding us. Uh, and so then we were placed in flexi cuffs, still at gunpoint. The entire time, we're, we're in cuffs. We've been searched. We've been petted down. We're still at gunpoint. Uh it was really, it was really unnecessary. And uh, you know, one of the officers kicked at him after he asked to use the bathroom. Uh, they wouldn't present the warrant before the. Now again, that's uh, a major civil rights violation. Uh, I, I, I describe what happened to Adam. Uh, well, Adam was separated from. Well, Adam was originally with us. We were, we were all in this front room. Adam was originally with us. They drug him into the room. And we have audio of that. Uh, unfortunately, my phone battery was too low to get video. But we have audio of us in that room. And then they pull Adam out of the room uh, and have him to the side. But we could still see him, like, through the side of the door. Uh, and Adam asked the officer to use the, ba use the bathroom. The officer kicked him. Uh, Adam's girlfriend was actually in the shower at the time. Uh, and it's her time of the month. So uh, she was asking, you know, hey, can I go handle this? And the officer said no. She's like, hey, I'm bleeding all over myself. Can I please use the bathroom? Ignite. So she sat in a pool of her own blood for about three hours. Well, see, the dehumanization of the slave is key, and they like this being broadcast, too, to teach you your dog meat. You're nobody. You're their food. They're coming. And so uh, now, now, where did he kick him? How did he kick him? Uh, what was the bearing? Were these guys really getting off on, on, on how cowardly and weak they are? Oh, they were. <laughs> 
getting off on it. It was it was so weird to me that the detective who was running the show uh, was the most civil one, and then all these you know grunts dressed up in these silly. Uh, costumes. Well, no, these are guys that want to uh, be soldiers, but 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 now get to pick on you know women at checkpoints. This is this, this is, is the funny. You know, it's the funny part is I'm a veteran. I was like, do any of y'all have any military experience? Like, do any of y'all have any shame in what you're doing? And being about taking constitutional oath, does that mean anything to you? And uh, I mean, we were held in detention for five hours. Uh, now so describe I mean, how they kicked him. I mean, how hard did they kick him? What happened? Uh, well, originally. The cop that kicked him was darting everyone else, and then uh, I guess he got tired of hearing us talk trash to him. So he went to go guard Adam, and Adam asked him to, uh, you know, to use the bathroom. It was sort of a soccer kick to the solar plug. So, oh, kicked him in the stomach? Yeah, it was like a, like a punch. What almost. a tough guy, kicking somebody yeah, in the stomach who's in handcuffs. Too, what like, a man, yeah. what a big, tough man. Well, Ooh, yeah, he's whole, so the tough. Whole, the whole time, the whole time I was in, I was in Flexicuff, and, uh, you know, I, I By the way, when we take this room. country back, anybody that served the New World Order willingly, it, it, you're going to have to run to other countries just like Nazis did. Keep going. Oh, yeah, we'll hang them high in the street. Uh, but, you know, before in your, uh, in your introduction, you were calling Adam Cocky and everything like that. But name a combat Marine that isn't cocky. It's no, no, I hear you. I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying it's easy. Hold on. Sure, sure. I got to go to break. Stay there. I'll come back and tell us more. No, no, I get it. I'm just saying it isn't about personalities. It isn't about things. The point is he had a lot of courage to do this. And this is the point we've gotten to. When you look into the eyes of these goons, you just know how pathetic they are. Viewers have demanded it, so now you're gonna get it. More pro Second Amendment gun shows in the month of June. What we've learned is you cannot hide behind an eye beam when there's a 50 cal present. In arms, 50 cal ammo review, and more coming in the month of June to the Info War. Alex Jones here. We're back live. Adam Kokesh is forcing the issue with the authoritarian government. Not only can we just say that what they've done in DC is unconstitutional and in Chicago. For almost five years, uh, Chicago and D.C. have been ordered by the federal courts uh, to get rid of their unconstitutional laws. They're, ne they're never going to, unless we make them. And so Adam has forced this, and Lucas Jewell, head of his media operation, who was there during all of this, uh, is out front of the courthouse during the break. He was talking to NBC News and National, uh, and with a bunch of other local stations. Let's see if we can go back to him, so we can hear it over the cell phone. Uh, Lucas, uh, can we get back with you? Or are you still talking to the media? Um, he's still talking to the media. This is um, this is another representative for him, but he's, he's okay. Great. Who is? Uh, no, that's fine. Who is this? Uh, my name is Elizabeth Kelly. I'm an attorney, and I happen to have been present when it occurred. Oh, you were present when it occurred. Uh, what your, were you? Uh, I'm told people are, uh, people were put in handcuffs, and they continued to point their guns at your heads. Yeah. Um, three. Three people were handcuffed outside, and the rest of us were put in uh, zip ties, I guess you could call them. And that's and that's handcuffed, too. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, we were we were um, stormed by a SWAT team, park, park rangers, and uh, they had guns loaded. And at one point, uh, kind of in corner, we were all hurled into a, a room, and at one point, um, the gun, one of the men, one of the park rangers was in the corner of the room, and we were quite concerned about where the, the gun was pointed. And then Adam's girlfriend, we're told, was left naked and bleeding on the ground for three hours. Well, she she was able to put some clothing on before she came down the stairs, but um, it was really like a skirt that she was able to pull up over herself. And um, she had just gotten out of the shower, but was able to secure the dog. In, in a, you know, in a, well, that's in a, a good thing. They didn't kill the dogs. Now, now, we see varying reports: two helicopters, two vehicles, four armored yeah. vehicles, a hundred police. How, uh, 
How much force did the Imperial New World Order bring to bear? It was all force. I mean, there was a, a bang bang at the door, and then um, followed by a breaking the door down uh, with a um, flash grenade. I'd never seen that before, so that was new for me. Was that almost um, instantaneous? Yeah, it was. It absolutely was. It absolutely was. So they didn't give you a chance to open the door. It's bang bang, and then the flash bang comes in. Yeah, we didn't get a chance to open the door. I mean, the, the folks in the home is between, everyone feels it's between 15 and 30 seconds. I, I felt like it was much quicker than that, but this is a real new situation for myself. So, um, you know, it's kind of hard to... Did they do all the gorilla behavior of saying get on the ground and then jumping on people with their knees? Oh, yeah. I mean, we were we were, um, we were were in the room closest to the door, myself and Lucas Shul, and we ran uh, through the room into the kitchen, and by that point, the grenade had gone off, the flash had gone off. I had no idea what was occurring, and we just we just dropped to the ground. I mean, we didn't know if we were going to be shot or arrested or... We didn't know who was coming into the home, quite frankly, at that point. So we we're, you know, myself and Lucas Shul were on the ground in the kitchen, face down, hands out, so that they could see that we had no weapons on us. Um, I had a I had a cell phone in my pocket, so I let them know that, so that if they were going to pat me down, they wouldn't assume it was a weapon. Um, how we long did this? Uh, how long did this go on? Oh, it was five hours at a minimum. I mean, they came in uh, between. 7.45 and 8, 8.10. I tried to look at my phone, but here's Lucas. Hang on. Thank you very much. All right, so I guess you had a lawyer there with you. That was a nice lady who went through all this. Were you guys yeah. expecting this that night? Because it, it turns out What's the meat... Mm -hmm. Oh, no, she's actually a personal friend of mine, uh, and she was just over uh, visiting... And, uh, well, listen, we've only got a few minutes in this segment. W what is it you need to impart to people about what's happened? Where is Adam now? Uh, Adam, mm -hmm. Adam is in the adult detention center in Fairfax County, Virginia. The important message to relay to the people is that you do not own yourself in this country, according to the government. Adam did, Adam's alleged crime harmed no one. Adam is a nonviolent person. Adam is a peaceful person, and it's very ridiculous that they would try to trump up something like this for a victimless crime. And notice that the charges have nothing to do with what happened in D.C., but yet Parks Police are who raided us. You know, so we're, we're raided outside of the District of Criminals uh, in Herndon, but yet Parks Police raids us, and then none of the charges have anything to do with the video. And when the video was allegedly filmed on Parks Police, yeah, so now they're trying to charge him for marijuana and mushrooms. Uh, no, not for the marijuana, just for, the, just for uh, possession of a Schedule 1 or 2. So they're going to charge for the mushrooms, and then they're going to charge for possession of a firearm and uh, uh, Schedule 1 or Schedule 2. All right, that was a short segment. I know you got media there. Three minutes. I want to come back. Got a few more questions for okay. you. Lucas Jewell, stay there. Uh, AdamVersusTheMan.com. And again, this is a big civil rights issue that's happening here. Uh, the Imperials get very angry over a slave with a weapon. Because there's a war on for your mind. That has been our motto here at InfoWars for my 18 years of battle against the globalist. And now we see the open announcements of global, private, corporate tyranny over our governments. That's what the New World Order is, is an unaccountable private combine of organized crime engaged in corporate takeovers of nation states and the conscious attempt to abolish basic rights and fundamental liberties. Infowars.com is not just leading the charge against this here in the U.S. or North America. We are leading the charge worldwide. And that's because our listeners, our viewers, our supporters, fellow freedom lovers like you across the planet resonate with our message of liberty and telling it like it is. And that's why for the last two years especially, I have thrown everything I've got, my time, my energy, our backup capital, everything into really trying to awaken the sleeping giant that is humanity. And that's why the July issue that just came in a few days ago is so important. We've already sold about half the stock we have of it at cost in groups of 10 up to 100 in bulk. 
It covers the entire NSA spy grid, how it ties in worldwide, how it's not about stopping terrorists, but about suppressing and dominating and controlling the free press and political opposition. And in this magazine, we don't just have three free bumper stickers like I did a few months ago. We have 10 bumper stickers, four full-size ones with amazing messages guaranteed to get people thinking like America has been occupied by globalist forces, InfoWars.com. Listen to Alex Jones at InfoWars.com. InfoWars.com, forbidden information. Listen to Alex Jones, InfoWars.com. And then on top of it, six medium-sized bumper stickers with the message as well. These are key to post in legal and lawful areas on your book bag, your computer, your car, or to give friends and family. I have printed 500,000 of these bumper stickers. Only half of this month's run of magazines has them. So when you purchase them in bulk or you're a 12-month subscriber, you will get the special issue. And I can't afford to do this every month, so it's going to be quite a while until we do this again. Please take advantage of this. Buy them in bulk and give them to your friends and family and encourage them to get these bumper stickers out because with 500,000 stickers, we can reach tens of millions of people with the message of truth. They want to collectivize us. They want to bankrupt us. They want to drive us into their arms to control us. They want to dumb us down. But the sleeping giant that is for humanity is awakening. So I want to thank you all for your support. I want to encourage everybody to go to InfoWarsStore.com and to get a 12-month subscription or to give a gift subscription. Imagine 12 of these coming to your friends or family's door to wake them up. Or to give a gift subscription to the local police department or your local congressman or woman. This is how we're going to affect change, voting with our dollars and voting with our time. Again, visit InfoWarsStore.com today to subscribe, to get the magazine in bulk, or to give a gift subscription, or to give yourself a subscription to wake up friends and family. I am all in. I am committed 110% to not mince words and to not back off and to boldly confront the globalist. And our listeners and supporters, our info warriors, who aren't behind us, they're right beside us. So I want to thank all of you that have supported us in the past, and I want to encourage all of you out there who may be on the fence, that know this information is true, but have been scared to take action. You had better be scared of not taking action and letting this monstrous system come to fruition. Now is the time to commit. Now is the time to say which side of history you're on. Now is the time to stand against the globalist and the new world order. And regardless of whether you get this July issue, this July 4th resistance to tyrants issue, spread the word about liberty, resist corruption in your area. Millions of us doing little things can move mountains together. I'm Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com and the InfoWars team. Imagine park police SWAT teams out of their jurisdiction with armored vehicles, helicopters, the news media shows up right before it happens. Uh, they got to get a, an American that dares in Washington, D.C., named after George Washington, he would dare load a shotgun when for five years, four and a half years, they have illegally, it's almost five actually, they have illegally the Supreme Court said, okay, you got to let people have shotguns and rifles and handguns. They got to be able to have them to defend themselves. They got to be able to have them loaded. Because of those cases, people not being able to have a firearm to defend themselves. And they said, we're going to go after him. We're going to make an example of him. And I've got David Knighton here to give us an update on the Paul Revere contest in a moment. Um, people have been asking about that. But first off, going back to Lucas Jewell, who was there during this uh, I want to get into this jurisdictional issue with you. And again, how many armored vehicles, how many uh, uh, helicopters, uh, because the media is varying two vehicles, five armored vehicles, two helicopters, three helicopters, a hundred police. Uh, you've been at the courthouse. You've been there. Uh, what's happening with that? Uh, you've got the floor for five minutes. So uh, uh, tell people what's happening. You know, Alex, I did think it was kind of weird how the media knew about it before we did. Uh, well, I guess they're going with the tactic of surprise, but, um, yeah, so that was, that was weird. There was helicopters. Well, the media is embedded in the domestic anti-liberty army. This is an occupying right. army well, on record was, to convert America well, to total was, Sovietism. Uh, you know, there was, you know, black helicopters, 
circle on overhead, uh, you know, which the whole thing was way unnecessary and over dramatic. Uh, and it was really, it was really weird the way that the reporter was standing right in front of the cop car. He had his lights on. They had all these lights flashing to make a big scene out of it and try to expose everyone. This is an active crime scene. Oh, yeah, this oh, no, no, no. That's why they'll do a year and a half undercover and spend a million plus bucks on an Amish guy. They beg to sell him some milk and cheese and move in as fake neighbors. And then they'll SWAT team and shove the Amish man to the ground because it's all part of their mental illness. They're play acting. They're the good guys. This is how authoritarianism works. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know if uh, they're tying someone's hands to the point to where they both turn purple is considered cruel and unusual, but that definitely happened uh, to the woman uh, we spoke to earlier. Uh, so they did that uh, to the lawyer. They they made the other woman sit there and bleed on the floor. They kicked him in the stomach with pleasure. Uh, they, they, they they put the zip ties on too tight. Well, they'll probably get, probably get peace prizes for that. Oh, yeah, you know, maybe they could drone bomb a couple babies, you know, murder one and a half million Iraqis, you know, actual real crime instead of peaceful non-compliant. Well, you know when you have a tyranny, being good is a crime. Yeah, uh, that's, that's the issue, and right now I think we're in the middle of a paradigm shift where people are reevaluating their relationships with government. People are starting to actually look at government for what it is, which, you know, as Adam actually said on your show yesterday, the group of individuals with a pseudo-society uh, granted monopoly on the initiation of force. Without that initiation of force, government is nothing. Lucas, you're right. They have set up a new class structure, and they know it. I was on the grass by Barton Springs after I went for a jog this weekend. It was actually 4th of July, and I was sitting there, felt like the weekend, listening to uh, two cops, their wives that work for the government, and their girlfriend, whose husband's going to work for the NSA, and they were bragging and on power trips, just getting off. This is their time. This is their takeover. Oh, no, they were, they were groveling in it. One guy uh, had headphones in and was sitting there, like, bouncing his head around like he was uh, really having a good time. Uh, he was really soulless. And the, the weird part is this, the same guy, was, the guy with the headphones was the guy who kicked at him. But before, he was sitting there staring me down when I was in his room in cuffs like he wanted to do something. So I walked up to him, you know, and I said, hey, you want to do something? Hit me, you know? Cause he's saying, I'm, I'm just not a fan of people trying to bully me. I'm not a fan oh, I know. Of Imagine the cowardliness of, of being a guy in body armor with a gun trying to stare down people and kick them in the stomach, hoping they do something. It's like, look... Imagine how disgraceful his family is and the line of scum he comes from. Or if they weren't scum, imagine what his ancestors would think of him now. Oh, it's, it's disgusting. And it, I actually mentioned that because, I mean, we had five hours with nothing to do but sit there and talk to everyone except for Adam, who was in that room, and talk to these police officers that were guarding us. Uh, and I told him, I was like, you know, what would Rosa Parks think about what you're doing? You know, what would Martin Luther King think about what you're doing? What would Malcolm X think about what you're doing? Uh, and, of course, no response to something like that. But, you know, then again, these people have been given the government version of, you know, Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. Oh, don't worry. The government grants rights, and the government can grant rights to, uh, to black people. No, the government can only take away rights. The government can only... Limit oh, I know. The police now think that freedom. they now think owning guns is a privilege. They think traveling is a privilege. They just have no idea, just like the general public, what a free country is. Now, some police I talk to are waking up. I've got my reporter, David Knight, here. He wants to ask you some questions, Lucas. Okay. Hey, Lucas, did, did they show you a search warrant, or did they have anything about a search uh, warrant? They, produced, they, they gave us an incomplete search warrant after uh, everything happened, and there was no probable cause statement. Yeah, because they're they spending five hours. They're spending five hours looking for something. I mean, it reminds me of the old saying from uh, Stalinist Russia: "Bring me the man, and I'll find the crime." You know, if you spend five hours in somebody's house, you can probably find, with all the laws we've got, you can probably find something that they violated. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, it doesn't matter. Every one of those cops will die thirty years young from all the vaccines they've taken. I mean, they want it. They got it. They're dead already. Their God already killed them. Yeah.
Hail yeah. Satan. Cool. Yeah. Well, it, it also Hello? seems like you, you've got this jurisdictional issue where they're, they're coming after him. The way the Washington Post reported it, gun activists arrested for, you know, this D.C. Act. But then in the body of the article, they talk just about the mushrooms that they found is all they talk about. Yeah, I mean, the reason they came there, right, is because he loaded that gun in, in Washington. And it's yeah, not, he, he's the not the one. The warrant said nothing about drugs. Right, right. He, he's not the one that's yeah. violating the law here. It's, it's Kathy Lanier in the District of Columbia that's violating the law, the Constitution, as well as ignoring the Supreme Court decision. And, of course, there's a lot of precedent in that. Uh, where if they come uh, for one reason but use it as a fishing expedition, it's not admissible. But expanding on this uh, whole issue, look at how Bloomberg's trying to shut gun sales down all over the country. They use these globalist crime bases, Chicago, D.C., New York, to try to rob all of us mm -hmm. of our rights. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and I, I don't know if you heard about this. Um, it actually might be today. There's a, there's a pro stop and frisk rally in New York City. And I, this this is the state of current affairs. Like people are saying, yes, we are so pro stop and frisk that we are willing to rally support of the government. Oh no 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 no! Turdberg, Bloomberg passed a law. Got got his corrupt government to pass a law. They're all a bunch of mafia to say there's no Fourth Amendment. But I mean, look at Texas. They pull you, your wife over here, and I mean, but just. Absolutely rape them with their hand. <clears throat> Bloomberg also went into different jurisdictions in other states and entrapped people and then said that they would, you know, for, for illegal gun violations, you know, technicalities on gun sales, and then said they'd let them off if they'd accept a special master from him. Well, Scumberg or Filthberg or Fraudberg or Un-Americanberg, whatever you want to call him, I, I mean, yeah, no, he's involved in all sorts of crimes. Yeah. Pervberg, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, Pervberg. Well, it reminds me also of Waco. You know, you're talking about the, the media also knew about all of this, and they were all set up to take pictures of this. It's exactly what they did with Waco. You know, they, they had all the media there as they had the initial raid. That's why we got pictures of it. And they even had the code word showtime. You know, when they well, they started. now even use SWAT teams from Texas to California at roadside checkpoints where they'll ask for blood, but the people are so scared they do it. It'd be like robbers going, give me your watch. I'm your friend. You don't mind, do you? <laughs> I mean, it's color of law robbery. Right. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Anything else you want to add about, because, again, uh, the, the, the number of helicopters, armored vehicles, uh, and so it was particularly describe the Park Service SWAT team. Yeah, it was uh, by far the most most scary experience of my life. Uh, you know, they threw the flashbang grenade in the house upon entry. Uh, we're running through the entire house with a drug dog whenever the warrant said nothing about drugs. Uh, and the entire time, you know, even even while handcuffed, we were we were being muzzle flashed and everything like that. So uh, it's really really a, a bad situation. Uh, the federal family, though, remember last year Janet's internal document. You're all part of the federal family now. We call it Lacosa Fedstra. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, also. Well, Rob Dew had an interesting point. He said, look at the difference in the way they treated this football player that they just arrested, Hernandez, right? Here's a guy that they've got oh, surveillance yeah. tape of him basically committing a murder, and they handle him with kid gloves or basically what you would expect. Well, they admire oh, that. Yeah, they yeah. admire the tats and death. They like mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. They want to grease our families, yeah. Mm -hmm. it's a lot of, they, they sure took care of Hastings, didn't they? Yeah. Well, so, you know, it's, it's funny. Yeah, it's funny that Aaron Hernandez was taken by men in suits, very calm and coolly. Mm -hmm. Uh, after he committed a murder, uh, and and then someone, and then yeah, and, and he's suspected of another murder. Uh, well, I mean, let's be honest; those yeah. are just really real police, police detectives who want to be able to get him. I mean, to be honest, so they were doing it all by the book. You were dealing with the federal family, mm -hmm. so the, uh, oh, the family. Uh, yes, the federal family. So maybe a better analogy is the, is the uh, David Gregory. Thing where he holds up a, an illegal gun, you know, on, on NBC News. Well, that, exactly. In fact, oh, yeah. I think that's how Adam beats this in court, is going, well, why is he allowed to have a gun? Mm -hmm. Oh, but he's yeah. part of the federal family. That's right. Yeah, well, if you're not a part of the dinosaur corporate media, then, uh, you know, you're not allowed to bring guns on TV, and you're not allowed to uh, make videos of you having illegal, supposedly illegal things in D.C., you know, if you're not if you're not part of the dinosaur lamestream media, 
Not allowed to do these things, Howard. You're not a free Well, I mean, here's the thing. The, the, the dinosaur media is only good now to kind of put out an official story and hope we pick it up. But all we do now is dissect <laughs> it. I mean, they literally are hemorrhaging to death. So in a way, yeah. I see this more as their death throes that are going on. Uh, so, Adam, uh, has he been arraigned yet? Or, or are you in the courtroom? Any other tidbits? Uh, Adam was kind of wishy-washy, but we believe he was arraigned today. Uh, reports are that he refused to leave his cell and uh, everything like that. So I'm not, I can't confirm that report. I've just heard these from multiple people now that he refused to leave his cell. It uh, doesn't really seem like, uh, wouldn't surprise me if, if Adam did refuse to leave his cell. He's a big fan of uh, peaceful noncompliance. So, uh, yeah, and he did that on the last fake surprised. charges, and they had to drop him because usually people just yeah. comply. The cops go, you know you did this. Well, I did. And then they get you to plea bargain, and then you have no rights. They can't stand it uh, when you actually create a court case out of it. Yeah, yeah. He, he needs a jury so, trial, too, if they press charges. Well, they'll bring in all the, all the wives of the SWAT team, but <laughs> they can all sit there and, like, smack their lips on power trips. They're, but they're all going to get it. Did you know I was reading almost all the federal pension funds have already been taken. They're not going to get them. These idiots have no idea what they're part of. Yeah. They're bringing this tyranny in. I heard today they're not going to pay the troops now. They're saying, well, yeah. we may not pay troops anymore. It's like, yeah. it's like oh, who cares? It's uh, all right. SWAT teams will kill you if you don't like it. You know. Yeah. No, they, they were threatening that when I was in. Uh, so that was, that was a scary experience when you're obligated by law to serve and they threaten not to pay you. So... Uh, <laughs> You know, Alex, it's been a pleasure as always, and uh, I wish you a very uh, wonderful day, and uh, God bless. All right, well, thank you so much, and we'll get updates from you um, uh, in the future. Lucas, thank you. All right, have a great day. All right, there goes Lucas Jewell. Now you can watch Alex Jones live at Infowars.com forward slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. You can also browse the network, the InfoWars Nightly News, and over 60 movies and documentaries all together in one place. You can watch the Alex Jones Radio Show live as it happened. So check it out, InfoWars.com forward slash show.